Hello everybody, welcome to the Car Crush. I'm Joe. I'm Nick. We are in my brand new 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track with a Sasquatch package. Um, oh, this is where I took delivery of the Bronco. I'm taking delivery of a 2022 Bronco, two door, green, hard top, that I've been waiting on for 18 months, two years, completely lost track, no idea. Forgot my mic, so excited, ran out of the house, haven't had coffee. All I know is any second, this truck should be pulling up on a, on a trailer. Eruption green. It is eruption green. <laughs> Curious name for a color, but I think we want to think sort of volcanic as opposed to... What volcano erupts green? Well, I guess, uh, again, it does <laughs> a sort volcano of, with it an does, STD? It does sort of conjure an STD or some sort yeah. of pustule more than... Right. Um, but it's, it is a beautiful color. It's a the color is beautiful. The name is bad. The name is bad. But it was a, it's a new for 22 color, you said, right? It is, yeah. So maybe somebody had the COVID and they were on a deadline and they're just like, you know, with 105 degree fever, fever they're just like, eruption green. Just right. let's move on. Right. Um, but so far, I'm a week into ownership. Yep. Um, actually, I think it's eight or nine days, so just over a week. And so far, I'm really enjoying the truck a lot. Um, part of me uh, was sort of in this headspace where I just thought, you know what, I've, I've kind of built up too much. Um, I've built the truck up too much in my head because I ordered it 18 months ago. So part of me was like, I'm kind of over this now. Like it's been right. too long when you order something and you get super excited about it and then you wait a year and a half. Yeah. The the novelty of like being excited about it just kind of wears off and you're like, there are only, so, there are only so many press photos you could look yeah, at. Yeah. Right? And you're just kind of get to a point where you're like, I don't care anymore. Just like either come or don't give me my hundred dollar deposit back and like, let's move on. Like since this car came out and I was super excited about it, you know, they've announced the Raptor. R, they've announced the Braptor, they've announced yeah. like all of these new cars have come out and you kind of lose that uh, initial like allure and lust you had for the car. And you paid sticker. Yes, but, um, but then it comes and, and now I'm kind of in love with it again. Right. Um, and yes, I, I ordered from Ford directly and they have implemented this policy where if you order from Ford. Yeah. Um, they the the dealer that you then you know designate to be your dealer cannot mark it up. Wow, it's like illegal through Ford. I don't I don't know what they call it. Um, however, like if this if I had canceled my order and the dealership got it, they can then mark it up. Oh right, okay, got it. Um, so they can't mark up your order once you've um, agreed. So to definitely a price. order from Ford directly. Yeah, if you're if you're willing to wait, then, right? Then and and. You know, to me, 18 months is worth 10 or 15 grand, which is like what people are paying on their markups. Overall impressions, what do you, are there likes, dislikes? So far, I really like the truck. Um, you know, I knew going into it that it's a Bronco and it's utilitarian and it's kind of like raw inside. So like all of this plastic, I was not expecting to get some like you know, leather line, leather line, Alcantara. Yeah. So stitched. like, you know, if you want to be nitpicky about it, you know, this is like cheap kind of, it's like not so great. Hard, plastic. Hard plastic. Yeah. I mean, but like, again, for like an off roader, which is what this truck is supposed to be at its core and, and is, I really like it. My biggest complaint with the truck by far is like, okay, so we're getting on the freeway right we're now. To start I'm at 50. When you get to about 65. Ooh, it sounds nice though. It sounds the good. The sounds motor sounds wrong. good. But then you get to 70, 75, and like the noise in cabin. Right. I don't know if this is going to pick up on video, but it is loud. Like this would annoy me if I was on a road trip. Yeah, you know, this is 70 miles an hour. Uh, and it's pretty. Uh, you definitely hear the wind rushing by, don't you? Uh, to, I don't know why it like really kind of. <laughs> I knew that it was a thing. I know it's convertible. I knew this was part of it. It it irks me a little bit more than I thought it would. I guess that's the trade-off for having these, you know, this fully removable roof right. and these, uh, this, because this isn't even like a T-top. I think later in the video, we are going to attempt what we're not quite sure whether or not is possible, which is to remove these 
roof panels, given the fact that you've got a roof rack on top of it. Right. Because Does, it doesn't appear to have the clearance that we're going to need to do that. Yeah. But I guess having this fully detachable canopy, if you will, I guess that's the trade-off, right? Is your, it's it's totally. not going to seal. Totally. So if I wanted to, tight. you know, it's 95 degrees, and if I wanted to take the car down to Malibu on the beach and do a little beach cruise, a beach cruise. Uh, you could rip the roof off, you could throw some surfboards on top. I don't surf. I don't really but like you, the but beach you, but, you, but you could. But you could, you which, could. Is, which is my point. Yeah, um, you could. So... Is that a smart getting a ticket? It is, yeah. That's I, didn't, I didn't actually think I, they went over the speed I think a smart car limit. could get <laughs> yeah. a ticket. Well, he's technically going downhill there. <laughs> he just carried speed. Must, must have been it. Um, but uh, listen, there's a giant 12-inch screen. It's touchscreen. It's super user-friendly. Um, I will say I did, I, you know, I have owned a Raptor. So I was kind of familiar. But you're wearing with, your Raptor Experience Oh, right. T-shirt. Yeah, I wore that because we're doing the Bronco video. That's right. Um, and the funny thing is, it was actually not deliberate that he wore that today. He just happened to turn up wearing it. And then yeah. between takes, he's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if, the, if great things happen on this channel, it's purely a coincidence. 100%. <laughs> this was not intentional. <laughs> it was purely luck, stupid luck. Um, but the interface is super user-friendly. Um, you know, like a difference in the Raptor is the entire gauge is digital as opposed to digital and analog. Okay. So right. on the regular Bronco, you get digital and analog. I am assuming that on the Raptor, it will be fully digital. Like now, on we the should be should, folks should know it is the Bronco Raptor, but everyone's calling it the Raptor. Yeah, I imagine if you're watching this video, you know that. I didn't, and I'm making this video. Yeah. I'm forcing Let's you to make on. this video. You're forcing me to make, I'm forcing this, video. You to make this video. Truth be told. <laughs> You're not... Joe doesn't wake up in the morning and think, Bronco. I want to get up at 5 <laughs> o'clock in the morning to shoot a Ford Bronco. But yeah. you know what? Uh, I am curious to drive it. In the... It's got some get up and go. It, so it sounds really nice. Okay, let's let's let really quick. I'll give you the details on the truck. I don't know if you're aware. So okay. it's a 2.7 liter. This yeah. is the upgraded. There's a 2.3. Okay. This is the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost. Okay. It makes 330 horsepower. Okay. Um, and it's a big, big torque lady. 415 foot pound of torque. Okay. Um, they obviously focus more on torque as opposed to horsepower because they want you to be able to, you know, be off road where you need low torque. Right. Um, it gets 17 miles to the gallon, which when you're used to driving a G wagon that gets seven or eight, feels like is 17 the combined number or is that no? It's like 17, 17. Okay. Okay. Um, which doesn't really make sense to me, but that's what it is. Which is moderately appalling. See, to me, it seems like it's it's yeah, but you're it's, comparing it's, it to it's, a, a, it's an electric car G getting wagon. 700. I'm like 17. Oh my. God, this is incredible. It has a 10-speed gearbox. 10-speed. Uh, it's got uh, two high, diffs. four high, four low, four auto. You can lock um, the diffs. It has two locking diffs. It's got a solid rear axle. Um, it's got the Bilstein shocks on it, which is a... I'm forgetting what they call it, but it's like a double-chambered... Um, okay. It has 11 inches of travel um, for off-roading which is quite a bit. 11 inches is a lot. <laughs> of travel. Love a good 11 inch travel. <laughs> um, 30, 35 inch tires, 17 inch rims, uh, and that is all part of the Sasquatch package, which is like essentially the off-road package. Maybe for the kind of folks at home, um, you should maybe let them know um, like me, you know what the pricing is on it and the options. And all right, guys and gals, and see that's nice. Uh, yeah, I agree. You're preaching to the choir here, brother. And I've got a little. <laughs> I mean, the front end is a little bit like it's like okay, we're getting the power down. Yeah. I had a little bit of some. Uh, I had a uh, the traction control light just sort of said hello. Did it? Good morning, sir. Good for you. Thank you. Um. Yeah, fuel economy, 17 city, 17 highway. Combined city highway, 17 miles per gallon. This car, my car, Bronco, 2022 two-door, advanced, 4x4, wild track, 4-passenger, 2.7 liter EcoBoost, V6 engine, 10-speed auto transmission. 
Eruption Green Metallic over Cloth what was Sands. That green again? Eruption. <laughs> Eruption Green. Metallic uh, over Cloth, Sandstone, and Black Seats. Um, my total MSRP is $55,885. That is including the equipment group 354A, which is the uh, basically the Lux package, the big navigation, blah blah blah. Yeah. Heated steering wheel, um, the wireless charging pad, which I'm like, that's nice. I really like that. Nice. <laughs> that's really got me. Um, whatever. The roof rack was 365 bucks. And let's not forget the luxury touch, which is here just for me. Which is the Bang and Olufsen oh, right. branded stereo system. Oh, somebody's coming up behind me going about 90. Jesus. In a panel van. In a panel van. Welcome to Los Angeles. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, and now when he's racing. Oh, my God. And he's, that's great. Where are we? I don't know. This It's pretty good. It I, looks I, great. It's a great package. Oh, I think he's getting rolled. Fantastic. 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 Catch up, Joe. God, man, that is one of the few times... But you're heated, huh? ...in life <laughs> that you see somebody doing something so incredibly shitty. It's one thing to do it... And they actually it, got caught. It's one thing to do... Uh, guys, I don't think we had the camera facing other. It was a literal uh, Ford Metris giant panel van. The guy was swerving from lane one to five, one, two, three, four, five, to five, back to one... Like coming this close to hitting a Tesla, he came up on our ass and came this close. I mean, it was impressively crazy. As, and it looks like he's not pulled over yet. No, I think he's getting over. It's it's so funny how long it's going to take him to cross four lanes of traffic now that he's being pulled over. Yeah, because right? he had. It's funny here. because before he just did it in a heartbeat. Right. Okay, we got to get this. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Damn, karma's a bit. Welcome, Dano. <laughs> God, so few moments in life like that. Yes. That sounds nice. It sounds really That's good for a V6. A little bit of tire howl. A little bit of the old uh, howling tires from the nice tall side, wire, side walls. Big knobbly tires. Oh, we're gonna die. Really not bad. Not bad. It did not get, it's not, it's not a tippy. It didn't do this. No, it's not a tippy truck. It actually, considering, uh, it's an off-roader, it, uh, it actually feels quite squat. I like it. How do you decide which of your dark metallic green off-road SUVs you drive on any given day. Okay. I mean, it's a fairly, I mean, I just want to know. It's an easy answer, Joe. Okay. One? Yeah. I don't drive the G-Wagon that much right now because gas is so expensive. Okay. Two? And this is so economical at 17 miles to the gallon. Correct. Yeah. Two, the power, the traction control light is on all the time when I'm driving this car. Is it? Yeah. Um, second is that the G-Wagon is lifted and it genuinely does not fit in parking garages. Oh. So if I have to go to, I don't know, a Target or something, there's, I, I can't bring that almost anywhere. Much as you think of me as one with first world problems, I would say that your G is so lifted that you can't get it in parking garages that you had to get a Bronco. I'm thinking that's a first world problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never said it wasn't. <laughs> Again, I think I'll keep this car for six months or let's call it a year, something like that. And then, and then ditch it for what I... I'm into it and not lose anything and get to drive a car and put a couple thousand miles on it, yeah. you know. You know, Nick, first thing this morning, getting up to drive this truck, I was not absolutely sure that I was going to love your Bronco. And it turns out it's a really solid truck. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I was kind of looking forward to you 
not liking it because so far everything we've driven we both kind of have ended up like for the most part liking and not really have anything really negative to say right. so i was like oh this is gonna be the first video where joe has something like really negative to say about the car which will give us some like contracts and just a position on the car uh, but the car's good and it speaks for itself and that's kind of what i was trying to tell you is like it's a it's built for tough in this world where every car for like a jeep wagoneer is a hundred grand plus yeah. a yukon is a hundred grand plus like every car with with this many options is six figures and for this being half the price you know 55 grand in 2022 it's it's I you mean, can you can it's stunning it's a beautiful car to look at really great design very industrial look to it and i think it is uh it's retro without feeling like it's stuck yes you know it's got all those cues on it truly a four-seater like i was surprised how much room i had in the back of this like really yeah. pleasantly surprised is there a ton of space behind the rear seats and the rear lift gate the rear door no Right. But at the same time, you still got the option of just folding those seats or using the spaces you see fit. I mean, this is the two door, not the four door. Well, and I could also put, you know, one of those, I could put some kind of luggage rack on the top and hence the roof rack, hence the roof rack. Power is good. Road holding is good. A little bit of tire howl, but obviously it's a pretty tall sidewall and big knobbly tires. Yeah. And no roof and a roof, no fixed roof. Maybe there's a little bit of noise on the highway, not as bad as I'd read, but at the same time, like above 70, 75. Uh, yeah, you're, you're hearing it. Yeah, I mean, I personally kind of like really hate that. Um, to, me, it, to me, it's it, as bad as I read, so. But you know what, you, with, with most cars, you can't just, you know, pop out the roof or even take the no, roof and off and if you and I, and I don't expect any car that I buy to be perfect, yeah. so. At 55,000, I think this car is really, my suggestion to someone would be like, if you can get this car at MSRP, if you can do the, the patient thing and order through Ford and wait and get the car at MSRP, do it. Do I think that this car at a 10 or 15 or I've seen some as, as high as $20,000 markup worth it? I don't think so. Thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying the content that you find here, please do like and subscribe. The more subscribers we have, the more clout we have with the auto manufacturers and with friends with crazy cars. We can bring that your way. Yeah. Cool. What he said. We'll be back soon. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week.